Good day, my friends. Welcome to video review. Uh, I opened this bag because I did not have a um, tracking number, so I did not know from who this package. So by looking on the product, I figure out where this from, but I noticed that one product is missing. One product is not here. Let's see. There is supposed to be supposed to be okay. This is something totally demolished. All right, now it's empty. Uh, I received today two packages, but one will be a review on my beauty channel, Talia XO. So check it out up there. Will be. Uh, post it up there soon. Maybe it's already. I'm not sure. So we have in here um, three cross stitch kits. Two. Oh, okay. Hold on. So maybe. Mm hmm. Maybe not missing. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I will. I will have to check. Uh, no, I think the what the the, uh, the one that I thought is missing. I think it's in this box. So we'll see. I will have to check, double check, and I put in the description box if I'm missing something. Um, I think everything is here. So we will start with this demolished box. Uh, actually, I put on this box um, because it was just laying like this, <laughs> squished. So what this is, it's supposed to be hold your cell phone or tablet maybe. Well, I thought maybe tablet, but this is actually very small. Uh, the way I look on a website, it looks so much bigger. And they do have in few different colors. And I thought teal color, it's so pretty. I love this color. So it's come like this folded. You just have to kind of force it to open it's open all like a 90 degrees and then you stretch and how's it holding so, so how does it click doesn't click kind of feels like, oh so it's only stretches all the way to the end but it actually I don't see any button by being like click to support so if something happens heavy it will go down all the time or maybe I didn't open all the way I don't know okay excuse my noises my kitchen is running so anyway this is for the cell phone let me get my cell phone so we can actually see how this look like and if it's going to hold or not let's just say if in case if I decide to record if I would record like this Okay, this sinking all the way down. Okay. I think there's any lock. Okay. Is it open? No, it doesn't open anywhere else. So if I put in here, it goes down. It doesn't even hold. Um am I doing a oh hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm not doing a oh you have to lift it up. <laughs> Okay, we lift it up, but is it gonna hold our weight of the cell phone? No, it's sinking down. Okay, so I guess they made it, but unless... No, I don't see any... See, it's supposed to be like a lock button, but there's nothing coming out unless I don't stretch all the way. No, there's nothing in it. Uh, I can stretch more. Is that will help? No, it's supposed to be like if you want to record something, right? Or maybe put... I thought it will be good for a cell phone and tablet. So if you do count at cross stitch, you can put tablet. But now this is really... It holding, but it's not stable. It's, it's very easy. See? It's very easy sinking to the bottom. And I don't want to drop my phone. So this is definitely not good. Okay, it's just not sturdy, so I wouldn't recommend to waste your money, my friends, unless... No, this is not, not good enough. I would not recommend this one. So, uh, and then we have in here silicone molds for the sugar 
uh, like for the cake decoration you can use for a craft to be honest I did not read the direction I mean description I thought this mold will be so much bigger this is very very tiny this is very tiny it's soft silicone kind of still have a residue of silicone bits so we can kind of clean the little bit it's not big deal but look how cute it's almost like a butterfly or angel wings swirls very cute and I have kind of similar to this but that mold is kind of like a big this one is very tiny but it is gorgeous and looks like a good quality so if you are cake maker maybe you're doing some bakery this uh, supposed to be for the sugar design for your cakes but at the same time I think you can use even for resin but I'm really surprised how tiny this is so I should better you know read the description better next time <laughs> okay so next one we have in here let's do diamond painting this one is 30 by 40 centimeters and this is one of the new releases that they have recently uh, with the whole bunch of magical mushrooms and I think somewhere maybe even exactly like this one I think I order in cross stitch 16 count I believe I think it's the same mushrooms well I remember with the mushrooms but it could be different because there's many different designs of this particular mushrooms yeah it is cute you know I still like those magical castles magical world and it's just a beautiful colors colors make me happy at this moment it's make a life more colorful and beautiful there mushroom house I wonder who live inside who you think maybe little mice maybe little squirrels maybe little fairies look how cute look how cute this uh, pretty even like a float it's like a floating city right so same thing with this mushrooms and we have in here 22 colors diamond set tools with one placer only and then we have everything already pre-packed into the ziplock bags which is wonderful there okay it oh, looks good looks good it looks like a um, lots of blue background B what's the B A23 so it's like a dark blue maybe color so yeah lots of pinks it will be interesting to see uh, let me know if any of you already created this kind of diamond painting you can tag me on Instagram Lockra forever or maybe you know in my Facebook group same name as my channel so if you have something to share i would love to see it now we have one more canvas and this one one of those soft canvases that has lots of colors and that's what i like and they usually all in square diamonds always in square diamonds but design is very magical <laughs> it's the design of dandelions of dandy flowers but look at this such a pretty colors in here oh this canvas like it's it's cute it's not very big oh it's also 30 by 40 centimeters but doesn't matter what size of the um, canvas they always have this extra tools in here anything different let's see if it's anything different it's all the same no same thing the cheap tweezers that's actually not good for nothing 
10 placer, 4 placer and 1 placer yeah that's good lots of wax, lots of wax and white tray which is I like better than green one yeah no this one is just very very like soft I don't really understand this kind of tweezers but that's okay now canvas itself is super soft so even if you have see like right now uh, those little folds from being shipped but it's very easy to even up even sometimes you can even um, literally just iron okay something stuck okay all good look how beautiful Oh. this part when the kind of like a separation go and you know the dandy will be flying this little particles and I, I really really love this uh, top area and the colors it's cute with the, all the background it will be nice to see it's done and plus you know I do love colors so it's going to be pretty no matter what no matter what it will be pretty now for this tiny canvas how many colors we have in here usually over 40 uh, no this one has a 35 colors which still much more than the regular diamond painting canvas this one always have more the only thing kind of interesting how they print this canvas because the picture this way but the symbol printed this way so it's kind of messing up a little bit with your mind but it's feeling good okay where were we let's continue all right so let me know what you think about this design 40 by 30 centimeters there is uh, many different designs with dandy flowers if you like this kind of stuff I always want one to put in the resin maybe this summer I will play because I do have like a round ball for the resin to create little crystals with the dandy uh, when they puff it up on the inside so I will try that now diamonds we do have a square diamonds with it and I see already um, diamonds on a loose in one color and two color and there's some more so obviously few of the bags zipper open so i'm not going to even touch it right now uh, i will fix it later but i think it is going to be gorgeous so let's see what else we have in here okay now this one should be dragon i think do you remember me uh, open one time dragon? I think he was blue. Uh, let me see first if this is dragon because I thought my dragon need a girlfriend. But oh, that's a, that is dragon. Oh no, this one blue. So he need a body. Okay. <laughs> which one? Who remember which color we have a dragon? Green or something or blue and green? And I thought he need a companion. Look at this one, cute. And they have like a girl's dragon as well. Lots of now different ones. Since I ordered this one now, there's many other designs. And they are cute. They are cute. Alright, so this dragon we have uh, same tools. Same tools as always. And our dragon. This is how it looks like on the other side. So uh, basically this is just like a... Uh, burned wood little bit marks but it's okay because the main character is here and he is adorable even without diamonds he looked 3d because the way he designed and I wanted to start on my other dragon so I think one by one maybe this week I will create one or this one or maybe the one that I uh, that first I think the other one was blue and green so I will create that one first and then we're going to uh, work on this one and they can enjoy 
with each other standing somewhere on a table look at the, his table and I can tell you now that this dragon has some amazing gems let me show you right now we have a sunset and I can see the sun is seeping sometimes through the blinds all the way in here to my table <clears throat> Oh my, this one, this one is so pretty. Okay, let's start with, where are we going to start? So how many colors? Ten colors in here only. The quality of them, let me pick up first. It looks good, I think looks good. I think diamonds in here looks amazingly. Clarity is all right especially this one colors is super gorgeous and then deep sapphire blue this one ad black diamonds is just so stunning oh how i like the multi-chrome shift on the top of this gems they are so pretty and this one kind of like a grayish color yeah something kind of hard to even tell what kind of color this is and more blue and then few of the special shape there. and pearls so this one big one we have a five in here where we need them in here so we need only three but we got five, so that's nice. We have two extra. They always good on um, uh, on extra diamonds. Okay, we can put this right now away. I I love this dragon, so definitely recommend for you to get this little dragon because he is cute. He is adorable, and you can find up there many others. Now one more of the designs in here. Um, I do have one of the of these designs that was sent to me by complimentary of the store and I decided okay I will get one more and they can be friends and stand together let's see now it's empty okay okay box is empty now <clears throat> so we have a base base with roses and this one it's already stuck on the top oh it's already uh, okay so and this one clear sheet you have to peel to get the clarity so right now we see how it looks like it's dirty but it's not dirty it's just that you have to peel it from both sides uh, clear sheet then you put on the top to protect your roses and then figurine which we have this pretty pretty lady um, in here what interesting to me is that figurine is blue you would think the base should be blue maybe as well there is a ladies up there with pink dresses I think so maybe I wonder if the base is supposed to be different color I have to go and check on a website so I'm not going to say <laughs> nothing now but you don't you think it should be maybe blue I don't know so for this moment I'm not going to say much but let's check her out she has a fantastic hat very pretty face and she's such an elegant beautiful figure with umbrella look at the fancy dress love it and this is acrylic the dragon is a chipboard and this one is acrylic and she pretty so when i will create both of them they can be staying like uh, kind of facing each other on a angle and this would be like a perfect for my makeup room to display beauty maybe even with my vintage colognes that i have a collection so with this kit we have a few extra ziplock bags if you need some more and let's see what kind of gems we have in here i see some pretty special
Okay, so this one is oh, it's so static. Is the gems is jumping inside of the bag? <laughs> they literally they are jumping. You see that? <laughs> so static. So this one kind of like a clearer. Then we have light blue. Another shade of blue. This one is same kind of dirty color like in the dragon we have that, that I say kind of hard to say what kind of color. Kind of look like a gray. Uh, more of the blue. And this one is a bigger size in clear. And this one. A beautiful light color. Sometimes they could be like a very very dense color. This one is like a nice and almost like a pastel. That's pretty. This diamond is gorgeous. Alright, so this is what we have with you for today from Diamond Painting. And now my friends, if you are not for the cross stitch, thank you for staying with me. But for those who like to watch everything, please stay and we are going to review. We have three three canvases in here. So two of them, I think it's coordinated in here. Yes. Uh, okay, so a uh, while ago I did review on two cups. I think one was a Holland, one was what was it? Mm, some, I don't know, England maybe? Uh, I, I think so. And this one is a French teacup and Japanese teacup. So let's see this one. It's a beautiful collection. There is uh, one more up there beautiful collection that looks like Ukrainian church, but it says Russian, so I did not order for that reason, but because our church, like, you know, it's a look-alike and especially that particular design. It looks like Ukrainian church with the blue and yellow colors, but the name of it is Russian. So I was like, no way, I'm not going to get that one. So this one is a French teacup. Let's see what we have in here in the picture. A field of lavender with the beautiful farmhouse latte or something yummy in this cup and this is one of those designs like for example uh, I did just finish one of my samplers but this one even smaller it's just some kind of like I call them a um, little bite snack you know that when you just want to bite something but you don't want to buy the big canvas you just want something little just to tease you and finish quick if you don't want to stitch on a very very big so this is like a little bite size of the project and what do we have in here just uh, no we have few difference oh yeah 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 now I remember they all have um, lots of back stitch in full stitch in here 32 colors in French knots one color and back stitch in one color the back stitch in here in 823. So if we look on a picture, what would, would be a, maybe like a dark blue color or something? Looks like it. Okay. So the French knot, you know how many French knots in here? Six. And I can show you where right inside of this flowers. Here is one flowers, and here is another flowers. That's it. Three French, I mean six. French knots, you can exchange them for the seed beads if you want to. And look how cute the canvas looks so good already, even without threads yet. Very tiny, very cute little project. If you don't like big canvases, this is something you should consider to collect. And it is beautiful collection. You can put them somewhere in the dining room, maybe you have a sunroom. Love them. And do they have what we have in here? So they all in 14 count Ada. 
but 27 by 20 and this one oh no see the size is different because this one is 28 by 21 so one centimeter bigger oh uh, i see that's the thing i don't understand when you have collection like this it should make them all in one size that way when you frame them they look good right but because there's going to be lots of excess of the um, like the free canvas around yet which on this one there's not much in here very little in here this side a little bit bigger this one sides is really really small usually bigger canvases have a bigger chunk of canvas available on the side so it's comfortable to put in the frame but even the little tiny frame you can almost put all design maybe switch once you will need but also this design is easy to cross stitch by holding in your hands only without any um, frame so 32 colors oh those beautiful pastels oh look at this for the lavender that's a pretty colors in here for the lavender two needles with the yellow eye they are very very nice satisfying palette yeah like it i like it okay so let's see another one now we know already there is one centimeter bigger this one here is how it looks like cup i like the designs have um, the cups you like a wiggles in here well look and let's see in the picture first uh, Japanese teacup so of course Japanese blossoms apple or cherry blossoms and you can see that here will be more French knots to create all those black dots on the centers of the blossoms mountains and look at this fancy cup I like those wiggles on the top but you have to create them all in um, backstitch okay so i'm actually surprised that the background in here in full stitch didn't have a half stitches right no half stitches that's what i told you yeah there's no half stitches but i think for this kind of design would be nice all the way just like a cup and the flowers in full stitch the rest of stuff you definitely can create in a half stitch it will look very beautiful like a shadow uh behind and the cup with the drink or tea or chocolate whatever that is uh it will be well it says teacup but okay let's say it's a tea it will be stand out better so in full stitch 33 colors french knots in two colors and backstitch in two colors so we have a little bit more colors in here okay so i see also we have a um, um french knots all those white dots that on the cup so i guess that represents snow because of the mountains so of course always the snow high on the top of the mountains and here we have already um you know flowers blooming okay and there you go it's pretty so if we look together and them do we see much difference in the size not very much right not much so because it's a partial so you kind of you can steal a little bit size and frame them all together in the same size <coughs> in the same size <coughs> sorry just <coughs> sometimes hard to breathe but i don't know why there our threads pretty pink for the cherry blossom in here and here we have for the mountains and greenery so it's more like a blue and green on this side bright pink on the other side and of course two needles in here okay so we have like a small canvases today review and the third canvas also i believe small one oh no this one oh no this one a little bit bigger let me open
this is beautiful like a sp spring column spring to me i don't know uh let's see actual what's the name of this canvas oh it is spring spring messenger here it is your spring messenger this image when I, uh, they arrived to the store when i saw always checking what's new in the store i just fell in love with this bird they used to make a nest in a peak on the roof in my house when i was a kid uh, i don't know the name of this bird in english um sp uh, sparrow no sparrow no okay i'm not going to make up story but there you go some of you might recognize your favorite flowers in here then we have a bumblebee up there or what what is that what kind of bug up there on the top nice blossoms cherry blossoms again or maybe apple blossoms and the bird in spring she has this branch in her mouth and she says spring is coming that's beautiful i think it's a beautiful 14 count and 33 by 32 centimeters a little bit longer not perfect square yes okay Ooh. Lots of lots of backstitch, of course, and here we do have a uh, half stitches. So let's see in full stitch. We have 58 colors. That is amazing. I like that. In half stitch, we have nine colors, three colors in the backstitch, and French knot one. And French knot, yeah, French knots probably will be. No, it's not for the centers of the flowers. Where are they? Let me find it. Where is the French knot in here? Oh, and a B. Uh, just the one. Oh, that's it. One French knot. You definitely can create just a full stitch. Or oh, maybe here. I don't know. No. I think there's only one. But I see the half stitches, it's uh, around the bird. You can see those lines like this. Like, like in here, see? Those one is a half stitches. Okay, so that, that's wonderful. That's a lots of colors in here. 58 color in full stitch. That, that's wonderful. I like the number. You know that the more numbers of colors, then less pixelated image will look it will be more details visible and here you go the spring colors what do you think about these colors if we can look them through the white sheet like that nice happy green lots of green pretty colors in here this one for highlights the brightest one Mm -hmm. Turn around. Oh, that's a beautiful blue up there. Very nice. Oh, so pretty. It's a spring, but it's such a cold day in here today. Very, very windy. Oh, this canvas are so lovely. It's very soft. It's very soft. It's going to be such a like it's like a pleasure to hold in the hands it's very very nice and soft canvas will be very easy to stitch very tiny writing in here but i still can see the numbers but yeah could be bigger especially when it's four digit it's not much you can see but that's why we have a paper what do you think you can create maybe pillow from this one uh you can stitch this on the back of even some kind of like a jacket jeans jacket uh, you can make purse of this like a shopping bag oh yeah there's many things instead of just to have a picture on a wall for the bag would be nice bag from this one as well for the treasure chest maybe for the top where you keeping all your threads there that's all we, ho we have for today of cross stitch. So thank you so much everyone for staying with me till the end. If you're still in here, thank you, thank you. 
and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we will have a cross-stitch European town. So see you then.